Song of Solomon is one of the most beautiful books in the Bible. One of the most mysterious ones. It's puzzled many believers. Sometimes maybe when you were a new believer you open up and said, what is this? It can appear just to be a, a love song between a man and a woman. It can even appear carnal or sensual. What is it doing in the Bible? On the other hand, the Bible has a love song. How cool is that? Because salvation is a love story. And so a love song in the Bible, that brings it to another realm. Another realm which is the spiritual realm. The Bible is filled with, with references of God as our bridegroom, our husband, our beloved, and we as his bride. God is the husband, God is our beloved, we as the bride. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. If you're a man, I don't let this throw you because our soul, we need God as a bride needs a bridegroom. We are, we are joined to him. And with that, and so in the spiritual realm, it's the love song about God and you. And that's how it's been seen from ancient times. The rabbis saw it as a love song between God and the bride, Israel. The church is seen as the love song between Messiah, the bridegroom, and the church, the bride. And both are true. But you ultimately must see this as a love song about God and you. God, your beloved. The rabbis even said that the Song of Solomon was the holy of holies of the Bible. The rabbis said it's the most holy book. And in order to read it, you had to be at least 40 years old. <laughs> Today we're going to open up a beautiful mystery verse and see the revelations that lie within it. See how awesome the Word of God is, how beautiful the beauty of the Word of God and the love of God is. When I was a little kid, our family used to go to the, over the house of cousins of ours who lived nearby and they had an apple tree. And they used to have us, they'd lift us up and we'd pick the apples. It was always, always a fun thing. Some of you have gone apple picking. Well, the verse from the Song of Solomon is linked to that today. In the original it reads like this. Tapucha ba etse hayaar ken dodi ben habanim. As the apple tree among the trees of the forest, so is my beloved among the sons or the young men. As the apple tree is to the forest. The bride is comparing, this is Song of Solomon, do you want to see where it is? Chapter 2 verse 3. The bride is comparing her beloved to all the others, who all the rest of the men, and saying compared to all of them, my beloved is the apple tree in a tree of forests. What is an apple tree to a forest? Well, an apple tree is going to stand out in the middle of a forest. The apple tree has color, vibrant fruit, stands out. So he's saying, so he's saying, my beloved stands out among everybody else. God is your beloved. And he's like an apple tree that compared to anything, any other tree, compared to anything else, he, there's no comparison. It's written, your love is better than life. Than life, compared to life, you know, compared to God's love, life is dead compared to his love. Life is not alive compared to his life. Love is nothing compared to, to his love. The bride is saying, there's nobody like my beloved. And so the beloved, the bride of your, if you are the beloved of God, you have to be able to have that in your heart. There is nobody that a bride is appreciating what she's got. And we have to appreciate what we have with him every day. Comparing him, it is better to be with God. Just like in the Bible, they compare God to other things. One day in your court is better than a thousand outside. There is nothing that compares with you. Your love is higher, better. Always, that's a good thing to do. It says, my soul, magnify the Lord. It is good for your soul to lift up God in your heart. Magnify him. Boast in him. Messiah said, you need, unless you love me more than all the rest. Unless you love God, unless you love me more than everything else, you're not, you're not there. And so we have to be able to love him more. What, why a tree? Why is she comparing this, her beloved, and ultimately it's about God and you, to a tree? A tree is basic. God is basic. He's the basis for everything. Do you know they think the word L, you know that's the most, say L. You know L, I mean E-L, you know that's the name of, that's God. That means God. Elohim, Eloheinu, El 
El means God in the ancient language. They believe that that word comes from the word for tree. Like it's the source of everything. A tree. So it says God is the source of everything. An apple tree gives nourishment. God is nourishment. The word in Hebrew for tree is a very easy word. It's the word etz. Etz. Try it. Etz. But it also doesn't just mean tree. It also means wood, a dead tree, like in a cross. The cross is also the word etz. The word, that same word for tree also means the execution stake. My beloved is like a cross, is like the execution stake. My beloved, our beloved Messiah, Jesus, is linked to the tree, to the execution stake. Like that, where do we find your beloved? Where do we find our beloved? At the cross, at the execution, the tree. And that's where we find love, at that tree. So the Messiah died on trees. Another way of saying he died on the cross. The word etz, interesting. You know what it also means? Ready for it? it also means, interesting, it means carpenter. My beloved is a carpenter. Well, the Lord is a carpenter. You know, I see that you see those bumper stickers. My boss is a Jewish carpenter. Well, he's a carpenter. Your beloved is a carpenter. And it's interesting because you look at those, the word etz, it means tree. It means, it can mean a cross. It means a carpenter. It can also mean fastened. And it also could mean shutting the eyes. Interesting, because you put it together, you got my beloved is a carpenter fastened to a tree. He closed his eyes on the execution stake. Your beloved, my beloved is joined, so joined, it's like I talk about a tree, I'm talking about him. He's linked to a tree. Now we have, people have ideas about God and, and being this far away master puppeter, you know, far away king who judging, just judging and that's it. But you want to see God, it says my beloved is like a, it's a tree. You want to see who God is? Look at the tree. Look at him dying on the cross for you. That's God. That's God. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.